You are listening to Mining Stock Education, where you'll learn from the top leaders in the natural resource sector and uncover quality mining investment opportunities. That would take us into uh, the eight to nine million ounce range, which puts us as a mid-tier producer. So that's kind of the you know the the, the brief outline on on kind of the next three years. So uh, organically growing the revenue of Virginia's mine from that 270 tons a day to 500 gets us to the six and a half million. Bring on the shafter mine at another two and a half million gets us into that eight to eight, uh, eight to nine million ounces a year. I'm Bill Powers. Thanks for tuning in. In today's show, we're going to be getting, getting an update from the president and CEO of Arcana Silver, one of our sponsors and a company that I'm heavily invested in, Kevin Drover. Kevin, welcome back onto the program. The company put out a press release about a construction update and production outlook. Could you walk us through some of these uh, highlights and what should investors be looking for, please? Sure thing, Bill. And uh, good to see you again. Good to be here. And uh Pleased to be able to give an update to uh, to everybody out there who's invested in us. Uh, so we're we are making pretty good progress, to be very honest with you. You know, we are at the outset here. We said that you know we'd be seven to nine months by the time we got into uh, production and uh, positive cash flow, and we're pretty much right on the money uh, when it comes to that. So we're looking at putting uh, you know ore through the mill in the first part of July. Uh, we're looking at being cash flow positive here in late August, early September. Uh, and, uh, you know, for the, for the most part, we'll have a reasonably decent production profile for the remainder of 2021. And, you know, we gave ourselves a little bit of wiggle room between, uh, in the press release that we put out this morning, we said between 1.3 and 1.6 million. Uh, silver ounces uh, for this particular year. And, uh, you know, that in, in uh, keeping with, if you look at the feasibility study, we said 3.1 million. Well, that that's actually on a prorated basis, a little bit better than the uh, the 3.1 million ounces on a full year basis. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're going along very nicely. We're cashed up. We have a cushion uh, to get us through to uh, positive cash flow. Uh, we expect that we're going to have about a $13 million cushion. So we're we're not looking that we've got to go back to the market for more money or any of those kinds of things. So in two months, we're going to be putting ore and then we're going to see cash flow this year. Uh, the story has become kind of what I would call a show me story at this point. The market's saying, show me the cash flow. So let's talk about from the time you put the ore in the, the mill for the first time in two months, over the next 12 months, what type of cash flow should the company be pumping out at $26 silver? Well, you know, we ran our numbers, and I'll give it to you on, on an, an annual basis. On an annualized basis, we should be seeing at $26 and north of 25 in the neighborhood of $50 million U.S. after-tax free cash flow uh, coming out of here. So, uh, you know, that's a pretty robust uh, a future for us, I think, going forward. And we should point out your market cap is $170 million US. So basically just giving a, a three times cash flow multiple would give you your current market cap. But as we know, silver miners trade at multiples many times above three. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, we, uh, as you just said a few minutes ago, I, I think very much it is a show me story and people are waiting to uh, to see, are we really, you know, going to get into production? Uh, are we going to make our numbers, get our recoveries and our costs uh, and uh, that cash flow? So uh, I think that's uh, what's going on right now. Certainly we're, in my opinion, you know, we're way undervalued. I mean, really undervalued. Uh, and uh, I, I think even, you know, once we, we do and we meet those, you know, uh, critical milestones that we have to meet, I, I think that people will get the idea and see that we really are a great investment. So um, now is the time to get on board, but um, we'll have to wait and see. We're going to do our part. We're going to get ourselves into production uh, and we're going to do it rather expeditiously. Yeah, I mean, you're such a near-term production story. So with this two months, what hurdles are there uh, still out there? Last time we talked, you told me the big two hurdles would be uh, a COVID outbreak or snow preventing you getting equipment up into the mind. You know, we're in a really good place right now. We've gotten past the winter. Uh, and, you know, uh, the winter did cause us some grief, slowed us down, productivity issues because of downtime. We're past all of that now. We're seeing some great productivity uh, uh, advancements at, at the mine itself. So that's uh, that's going very well. 
from a COVID perspective, yeah, we, we weren't sure what was going to happen to us. But, you know, the, the county that we're in right now is virtually everybody has been vaccinated. Uh, there's uh, the, the county is open. You can go in. The restaurants are full kind of thing, full seating. Uh, most all of our, if not all of our employees are already vaccinated. So that's behind us. So what we've got now in front of us is just straight execution. Uh, but we're, we're seeing great productivities in our, uh, you know, our uh, infrastructure development. We're 90 feet away from accessing the Virginia's vein to actually being able to see it uh, and start development on it. We're going to be putting water through the mill in uh, June of this year uh, and do the first commissioning. We'll be a little bit later on our pan feeder, our coarse ore bin, but we'll be putting ore into the mill in uh, in July. So those are the kind of near term milestones that we're focused on, you know, right now, get our infrastructure uh, uh, in place, get the mill upgrades done, and then we're ready to push the button in July. So, Kevin, there was one quote from your press release I wanted to read to you and have you elaborate on. You wrote, it's anticipated that four stopes will be available by year end 2021, two stopes per level to supply the processing plant. However, only two stopes are required to provide the 270 tons per day as specified in the 2018 feasibility study. So my question is, you're basically saying here that we anticipate we're going to outperform the feasibility study. Is that right? That's correct. Uh, you know, we need two stumps operating to get delivered at 270 tons per day, and that's more than enough to do it. We want to have, there's two things here. One is we want to have additional stopes available because we don't know what's going to happen in one of those two operating stopes, but something will probably happen. So we've got a stope that we can go to. So you, you're, you're not losing any tonnage. So consistent operation is what we're looking at. But uh, beyond that, we've talked about in many of the interviews that I've, uh, uh, I've done, we talk about increasing our tonnages from that 270 tons a day to up to that 400 tons a day, that initial step up. So that fourth uh, uh, stoke gives us the ability to be able to go up that extra step of an additional 100 tons uh, a day. Uh, sort of thing. So uh, we, we're positioning ourselves so that it, very early in the new year, 2022, once we get everything settled down, uh, we're looking at pushing up from that 270 to the 400 tons per day using the fourth floor. Okay. When you told me earlier, uh, US $50 million after tax cash flow, is that going according to the feasibility study calculations at $26 silver, or is it according to what you're trying to accomplish here, beating the feasibility study? No, that's as per the feasibility study. So then it would be better, of course, if you're of able course, to accomplish this. Yeah, absolutely. Going into uh, 2022, you know, and when we get up to that 400 tons per day, then that's going to be, uh, you know, assuming the price of silver is still in that $25, $26 range, we would be above that $50 million after tax cash flow. Okay, so I've been in the Revenue Virginia's tunnel. It's quite long and it intersects many veins. You're working on the uh, Virginia's vein. Are there any other veins that you're developing right now for production in the first year? Uh, we, we are doing a little bit of work. We have one crew working on the Wheel of Fortune vein that we see as a potential uh, short-term addition. It's actually gold uh, that we're, we're looking at there, but it, it appears to be quite uh, prolific with uh, something north of uh, at least a half an ounce per ton of gold. Uh, so we're looking at right now, we're, we're doing some drifting to put ourselves in a position where we could drill a couple of holes just to make sure uh, that before we do uh, you know, any large amount of, of underground development, that what we think is there is really there. So that's a little bit of, uh, of a sweetener, I guess, if we're successful there, that we uh, we could be announcing some additional high-grade gold resources, uh, you know, very close. It's all accessed off the, the main access tunnel, so there's there's no real new infrastructure, so it uh, would be pretty low cost. One of the things I think the market isn't recognizing is also your exploration potential. I've seen many comments where people say it's a small mine. It won't last long. We've talked about this before. I've been there, so I've seen the potential. You have potential not only in Colorado at the Revenue Virginia's mine, but you also have the Shafter mine. So can you kind of give us a vision of two to three years from now, if somebody invests in your company before first cash flow, where do you expect to grow this two to three years from now? 
Right. Well, you know, Bill, we've got the Virginia Spain, which is sort of, you know, the, the focus of, of our efforts right now. We have eight other veins in, in the uh, uh, the Revenue Virginia's mine uh, in total. But if we come back and we just look at the Virginia Spain, virtually all of our known resources that we have right now, all of that six, seven years of, of reserves we have is on 4,000 feet of a 16,000 foot strike length that we own. So we've got more than ample exploration opportunity to the south of where we are and to the north on that Virginia's vein. So we believe that the Virginia's vein at 300 tons a day alone would give us a 20 year mine life. But uh, uh, just coming back now a, a little bit to what's at hand, we're starting up at 270 tons a day. We have a mill that's uh, designed for between around five, call it 550 tons per day. We want to go up next year. We want to take that our tonnage up to 400 tons a day. And then the following year, or maybe even sooner than that, we get to that 500 tons a day. Well, when you get to 500 tons a day at just a 37 ounce per ton, which is our nominal reserve ed grade, that puts us at about a six and a half million ounce producer. You couple that with uh, the work that we're currently doing on the Shafter project in Texas. And, you know, Shafter right now is at a PEA level. We believe it'll produce somewhere between two and two and a half million ounces per year. It's about a $22 million capex to put it in production. But that's, that's at a PEA. We need to get a little bit more uh, definitive than that. So we're looking at doing another small exploration program along with a drill program to get some metal uh, sample for metallurgical testing. We want to do a, a feasibility study come this fall once we, we get all that, uh, you know, upfront work done. But we believe that uh, we'll be able to put that in production within the next 18 months, 18 to 20 months kind of thing, uh, at the rate of about two and a half million ounces. And that would take us into uh, the eight to nine million ounce range, which puts us as a mid-tier producer. So that's kind of the, you know, the, the, the brief outline on, on kind of the next three years. So uh, organically growing the revenue of Virginia's mine from that 270 tons a day to 500 gets us to the six and a half million, bring on the shafter mine at another two and a half million, gets us into that eight to, eight, uh, eight to nine million ounces. And we should mention all of this projected uh, production. This is all within the company right now, and this is all permitted. Yeah, I mean, both our, uh, the, the shafter mine has a 1500 ton a day mill on, on the site. It's fully permanent. We've got uh, significant underground development already done. We have a shaft down to the ore body. Uh, we have a hoist, uh, everything there. The power is turned on. We've, we've just kept it on care and maintenance and uh, and kept the, you know, we don't consume much power, but the power is already there. We could start it up at any day. And of course, the revenue of mine, uh, we're fully permitted to, for production. We got 126 people working on site now. We've got about 50 contractors here. We'll be hiring a, probably an additional, uh, you know, 25 people for the mill uh, to uh, to get started up. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're off to the races here and uh, you know, give us a couple of months and uh, we'll be talking about shipping concentrates out. So we're looking at shipping concentrate uh, uh, in August would be our, our first shipments. Excellent. So you've heard the upside. Uh, current market cap, U.S. 170 million. But within the first year of production, starting in about two months, you're looking at 50 plus million U.S. cash flow after tax with a production pipeline. If the company executes, uh, I think we can expect a higher market cap than 170 million. That's why I've been invested in the company for about 15 months. And I plan on holding those shares because I'm a silver bull, but I also believe that there's a lot of upside and catalyst within the company coinciding with the silver bull market, hopefully, uh, that could generate a lot of wealth. Well, Kevin, thank you for this update. We'll be watching the story closely and we'll have you on again soon. Okay, Bill, thanks very much. Appreciate it.